you can't just keep messing around like you used to. Eventually, your dick will fall off. <laughs> remember just like remember like VD in the 60s? That shit don't just sting no more. Every time they cure something, it come back stronger. VD is new and improved now. <laughs> they got dudes in the doctor's office with symptoms like, excuse me, doc, um, what does it mean when uh, you go to the bathroom and um, fire shoot out your dick? Let me get this right. You're getting a burning sensation <laughs> when you urinate? No, fire shoot out my dick is a... A burst of flame fly out my dick when I pee. I can't even pee in the house. I burn my house down. I got to go outside and pee. I was outside peeing the other day. Dude tried to mug me. I turned around and burned him up on the street, doctor. what I'm trying to say. But my dick is a blowtorch is what I'm trying to say. Got to be careful. They say having casual sex nowadays is like playing Russian roulette. And I know I've thrown my dick on the crap table many a night. <laughs> Looking for Miss Wright. You be gambling every time you do it. You gambling with your dick, saying, come on, I need a woman with a mind. I need the perfect person. Come on now, give it to me. I need somebody perfect for me. Come on, give it to me now. Oh, shit. Fat buck tooth, bitch. No, give my dick back. No. No, give my dick back. But I'm going to keep rolling. I got one more roll in me. Come on, here. I want the perfect woman now. Come on now. I want somebody with a mind, intelligence, a nice ass, and a body. Give it to me now. Oh, skinny cock-eyed bitch. No, give my dick back. Get my dick back. Come on now. No, listen, be quiet. I'm gonna keep rolling. I know I just stopped. This is my last roll. Come on now. This is the last one. This is one. This is one for me. Come on, Miss Wright. Miss Wright. Hey, blow on this for luck, please. This is my last roll. Come on now. Here we go. Come on. Give it to me now. Oh, shit. Herpes. I crapped out. My dick is fucked up. My dick is ruined. So be careful. Get married. I went out and found the perfect woman. 19 years old. Beautiful face. A virgin. Nobody ever fucked her. Every, I had an ass like this. Pow! And the lady's like, blam! The titties like, pow! This, she was so fine. She's one of the people that's so fine. When you see them, they make you ugly. You be like, god damn, who is that motherfucker? She was fine. I went, I cut all my girls off. I said, that's it. I'm getting married. This is it. Gonna be me and her. I was so happy. And I went out, and I went shopping. And I was waiting on the line. And I saw the Inquirer magazine while I was waiting on the line. And I saw Johnny Carson on the front page. It was a picture of him like this. Then I said, what's up with Johnny? I turned to the inside story, and his wife was on the other page, and she was like this. <laughs> and over her head, it said, Johnny's wife wants half Johnny's money. And I turned that shit back to Johnny. <laughs> then I started thinking about it. Half. <laughs> if, you, if you have $5 and have to give somebody $250, you would be upset. Johnny had to have at least 300 million and have to give up 150 million dollars and they weren't even married but 10 years and 150 million dollars uh, get uh, give me a fucking break what <laughs> what and ladies if, no here's a woman I'm saying right on no you can't that, baby that's not fair not no 150 million I see a lot of you ladies sitting there going get all the money you can shit I'm glad she did get all that money <laughs> she earned it she earned it. That you damn right. She was married to him. She deserved that money. Get the fuck out of my face with that bullshit. No. Stop it. No, don't get me wrong. If you marry somebody and neither one of you have anything and you build 300 million together, you deserve half. But Johnny was 300 million in when they met. And I'm quite sure she knew. And Johnny, hey, I'm Johnny. She was like, I know who you are, motherfucker. <laughs> and they got married, broke up, shit didn't work out, and then she had to get, he had to give $150 million of his money. And don't get me wrong, ladies, I know a lot of housewives sitting out there going, well, you can't put a price on what I do. But ladies, if you marry a man with $300 million, you ain't no regular housewife. You ain't got to clean the house no more. You get a maid. You ain't cleaning shit. <laughs> you marry a man with $300 million, you ain't cooking no more. You eating out. You man, man, with $300 million, you know how a lot of housewives got to get jobs on the side to help make ends meet? He got $300 million, the ends are meeting like a motherfucker. <laughs> what you gonna do, get a job at a boutique on the weekends and shit? He say, here, Johnny, I made $70. Put that with the rest. <laughs> now we have $300 million and $70. <laughs> because I want to do my share. No. A whole lot of motherfucking nerds gonna ask me to sign a contract to show you that I love you. First of all, there's nothing that a man can do for me that I can't do for myself. I got a job and I don't need shit from you. You got a whole lot of my, I, I love you. You got a, who the hell you think gonna tell me to sign a contract to show you that I love you? If I need something, I can go to my family. My family takes care of me. You got a whole lot of men here, all that shit. And we be like this. Okay. 
We don't need no contract. 